Our forecast tonight coming to you from New York City amid all the hustle and bustle of the streets of Manhattan. Welcome everyone to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche and a Beyond, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. And tonight, our matchup, you'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the New York Knicks here in New York. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Julius Randle says of these Knicks, we're building something good here, and I'm glad to be a part of it. We have a collective purpose. There's not another fan base in the league that can match what these Knicks fans will give us if we're taking care of our business. Guys, those fans have waited for a long time. They have been patient for sure, David. Thank you. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. DeAnthony Melton out there with Young. Then it's John Collins. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Okongwu in at the five. And for the Knicks, sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Julius Randle is out there with ABC. And it's Walker in at the point. And Greg, as we near the end of the regular season, some call these the dog days of the year. Winning teams ready for the playoffs and the lottery teams sometimes ready to call it a day. Well, a lot of teams still have something to play for, whether it's fighting to make the playoffs or seeding. These games do count. Now, here is Young to the paint. The pass to Melton. Four on the shot clock. Shades over Fournier. Melton, no good. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. Atlanta ball. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Atlanta. Young outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Walker against Young. Passes to Okongwu. Five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. The turnaround jumper. That one a John tad Collins. offline to the right, but drops in for him. From the middle, part of Collins' game that is developing. Nice work, and that's paying off. Walker with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Randall kicks to Barrett. Back to Randall. Pass to Barrett. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Now, here's Melton. He's tightly guarded. Count that bucket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. That one goes in. The balance and body control look a little bit better this season, so... Randall stays on the ground in this catch and shoot situation and looks fluid. Now, here is Young. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Now, here's Randall. He's guarded by Melton. Yes, that goes in. Randall's got his second basket. The muscle and the intensity there from Randall showing off, and he converts through contact. And one thing that separates Randall from other guys. His size, that spin move. He can do it off the drive, in the post, now going either direction. Knicks have gone two or three here to start out the game. Fournier passes to Randall. And Fournier kicks to Barrett. New York moving the ball around. And Okongwu gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. 
First team. And whirling around the floor, uh, Greg, is there anyone Randall reminds you of? I mean, I mean, they're different players, but Akeem Olajuwon had an unbelievable spin move. Takes a lot of body control, especially for taller guys. But when you do it well, man, it is tough to stop. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Young outside. Nailed from three-point land. Uh, that's Young's favorite shot right there. A lights-out long-distance sniper with unlimited range. Walker with a clean look. And they come right back with their own three-point. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now, here is Young. Here's the teardrop. And it's good on the way up. Young's got five. So tricky there with the floater and a nice touch from Trey Young. Walker surveying the floor. And the pass to Randall. Over Young. And there's Randall on the assist by Walker. And that's now six points for Julius Randall. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. It's good from long range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Outside, Walker. Sims, the best to Fournier. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. It's Young on the wing, guarded by Walker, and the shot is good. Seven points in the game. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. Randall passes to Sims. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate, that time he found him. Feeds it to Okongwu. Sims with the rebound. The Knicks have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. And stolen by Okongwu. Poke loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And so it's New York with it. Now here's Walker. His last outing, he had 18 points. Sims, the pass to Randall. And he uses the glass on the way. Randall's got eight points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Okongwu. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Bogdanovich. It's blocked. Randall finds Walker. Sims. Here's Fournier, and he makes that one. Fournier. Fournier's got his second basket of the night. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Melton. Young with the ball. He has seven, just four to shoot. The Hawks again can't hit. Yeah, they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Walker the pass to Sims. Powered down with both hands. Oh, a tremendous find there by Kemba. He draws loads of attention, opens the court up for his teammates. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Inside. Here's Collins. And good that time. Collins. Collins has got his second bucket of the game to go. Pretty good body control from the big man as Collins stays focused on the rim. 
passes it to Fournier. Dishes it to Sims over Young. And there's another one for the Knicks. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on again, pal, for your next city dancer. will make substitution. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a five-point game. Their last encounter was in Atlanta. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench. It was the difference. Well, the second unit came in last game and just played lights-out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. And he gets the bucket. So composed right there on that possession. Herter, a pro at handling the defense and then keeping his focus. Outside Rose. With the floater. And he lays it up and in. And the Knicks lead by five. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. It's deflected. He takes it in. And stolen by Jang. Schroeder outside. And it's Noel with the rebound. New York leading by five. And here's Burks. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Rose dishes to Burks. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And Rose must continue to focus on his facilitating. When he does that, this is a dangerous team. Here's Schroeder. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Here's Grimes, and the Knicks hit again from deep. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Herter passes to Chang. Kicks to Schroeder, driving to the basket, and the shot goes in. And he gets one to fall, and now one out of his first four. New York's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Rose. Pass to Burks. He can't get that one, so Atlanta will take it the other way. Two minutes. Now, here's Hunter. Tight defense on him. The pass to Collins. Pass to Schroeder. Let's the three fly. Sims with the rebound. Sims has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rose against Hunter. That's tipped and stolen by Jang. Schroeder outside. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. 
and the layup is good. And even though Schroeder might be on the light end of things when it comes to his weight, he remains relentless driving towards the basket. Rose kicks to Burks. Down low. Noel against Collins. Right wing, six to shoot. Schroeder against Rose. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Taj Gibson's checked in for New York. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Lights checked in. The Hawks trail by six. Now Schroeder. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. Here's Herder. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first person. And you have to love how eager Kevin Herder is to make an impact for his team. The roles that he plays, GA, are, are quite special. I mean, he is a good shooter, but last year we saw a lot of growth in his playmaking ability. He's able to stay on the floor and defend guys at his position. So he has a, a great IQ on that end of the floor, and his game continues to grow. That free throw, no good. Already impressing at a young age, Kevin Herter's dead-eye accuracy from deep, combined with being a fearless competitor going inside, that's going to pay some dividends throughout his career. Obi Toppins checked in for Noel. And he can't hit the second. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Right side, Rose. Burks on the wing. Back to Rose. Just five to shoot. Knocks down the step back, Jay. And this is when Rose should look to shoot it. The D has to react better. Here's Schroeder. And Gibson sends it back. And so it looks like the Hawks are retaining possession here. Jang dishes to right. The Hawks again can't hit. And so it's New York holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back to the action after this word. And Coach Tom Thibodeau has made his mark with this crappy New York Knicks team. All-star Julius Randle talked about Thibodeau's leadership. He has us all bought in. You can't really ask for more than that. A coach who's going to lead us in and have everybody buy in, and we're seeing the results. We're seeing the fruits of our labor. Right, we see it every game. They certainly play hard for him. And getting that level of buy-in that Randall described, where players are ready to run through a wall for you, says a lot about Thib's ability to galvanize that locker room. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Falanos. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync terrific first quarter. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Knicks. Alec Burks is out there with Toppin. Then there's Derek Rose. Then it's Taj Gibson. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Knicks? You've got to like the consistency with which they're hitting that mid-range jump. They also haven't been afraid of taking the ball to the rack. Lots of opportunities at the rim.
That's good from Gibson. And Brent, the wrinkle added to the playoff format for 2021, the play-in tournament really became a hot button issue last season. Yeah, it felt like you either were going to love it or you weren't going to like it at all. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that the last month of the season provided games that had something at stake. And that positioning to get into the 10th slot with an opportunity to get into the playoffs drew the attention of, of NBA fans and players uh, to keep competing until the very end of the season to take that shot at getting into the postseason. So I really like it. And Toppin throws it down. Scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm, emphatic on the putback stuff. Now, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. Scooter passes to Chang. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. Gibson finds Burks. Outside Rose, lock at six. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. The Hawks making a switch here. Bogdanovich is checked in. Into the lineup for the Hawks. Here's Walker, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Just five on the clock. Atlanta with the rebound. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit, where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And that one's good. Right. That's unblockable. Unless they can get a bigger man on him, got to learn your lesson. Pass to Fournier. Shoots over Schroeder. New York, no good that time either. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Pass to Wright. Driving the lane. Lays it up off the glass. And now it's only a five-point Knicks lead. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. And there's the pass to Fournier. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists now in this one. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And it's good for two. Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star Weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair, and you know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Here's Walker. Pass to Barrett. And here's Fournier from downtown. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. To the right side. Schroeder outside from the arc. Missing that scoring opportunity, having a bad three for nine shooting night. Outside Walker. Outside Fournier to the middle. Here's Gibson. No problem on the jumper in close. Gibson's got five points so far. Tough to throw Gibson off when he's looking to score. He powers through whatever defense is there and gets it done. Outside Bogdanovich. He dishes it to Hunter. He kicks to right. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. His first personal. The plan of attack is obvious get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Julius Randle's checked in for Taj Gibson. Bent for the Hawks. Okong Wu's checked in for Jang. Young is subbed in for Dennis Schroeder.
Free throw drops for right. New York leading by five. Passes it to Barrett. Handle with the ball. Fournier finds Barrett. Misses the three. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. And you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. In his first game after starting in the 2020 All-Star Game, Trey Young had an incredible night, dropping 50 points against the Miami Heat. And Young became the fourth youngest NBA player to get to 50. Only Devin Booker, LeBron, and Brandon Jennings got to 50 in a game at a younger age. Perhaps the most impressive part of Trey's performance, he did it against coach Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat, one of the top defensive teams in the league. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Fournier. And no kicks to Barrett. Pass to Walker. Now, here's Barrett. 17 points for him last game against Utah. And he didn't take any plays off at the defensive end. I mean, he wound up with four steals on the night. And somebody not alert to block out the wide frame of Julius Randle, who gets in there after the loose ball. Here's Okongwu. Count the basket. Okongwu's now got four points now in the quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The baseline J. That's good from Randall on the assist from Fournier. Fournier's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Hunter on the wing. The pass to Okongwu. Now the dish to Hunter. Outside Bogdanovich. Hits the three-point bomb. Bogdanovich has got seven points in the game. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Pass to Fournier. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight for him. Passes it to Young. An easy two points on the layup. He's got nine. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Choppin. Up top, Fournier. Over right. That shot, no good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Now the pass to Young. And stolen by Fournier. For the three. Toppin can't get it to go. The Hawks trail by three. Bogdanovich with it. Seven points in the game to the inside. Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. So you want to lead by an example. Bogdanovich leading the way with the assist. Outside, Walker. Dishes it to Barrett. Kicks to Fournier. Going inside. Six for ten with that shot going in. It's a good game for a lot of guys. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. And the call will be against Fournier. That's his first foul. And the Knicks making a change here. Noel's checked in. Then for the Hawks, Collins comes in for Hunter. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for DeLon Wright. Out to the right wing. Back to Young. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Three Young's got three assists tonight. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Walker the pass to Fournier. 
and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Yeah, it's good to see him with his free throw percentage up over 80. So for the Knicks, Burks, he's checked in for R.J. Barrett, and Derrick Rose is subbed in for Kemba Walker. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Atlanta with the ball. They trail by three. And here's Young. 23 points his last outing. And Okongwu slams it in. And the scoring is one thing, but Young's ability to set his teammates up is just as important. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Dishes to Noel. Young against Rose. Pass to Randall. And that one is good. Randall's got 14. Uh, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Now here's Collins. His last outing, he had eight points. Over Noel. Shot by Collins, no good. New York leading by three. Ryan, defended by Young, passes to Randall. Shoots over Melton. Randall, no good. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Pass to Young. Here's Herter. Burks covering. Herter, no good. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Ryan. He's guarded by Collins. The kick out to Rose. Shot clock at six. There's Noel. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing he and trying to foul. fight their Talk way back. Two. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 72% at the line this season. He has yet to set himself apart in that department. Team foul. At the line for New York, Nerlens Noel. At the line, that's good from Noel. And Nerland's Noel, since coming into the league, seemingly has fought an uphill battle to try to find a role on a team where he can consistently make key contributions. Let's hope it's now. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Young. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Rose. He has six. 
And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. And Rose, a fighter, someone who challenges At defenders line, inside and attracts Derek their attention. Rose. And Kevin, one line, thing you have to respect shots. about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He, he's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. Two shots. First free throw is good. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Both free throws good from Rose. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here is Young. He's got 11. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. 13 foul. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One falls for Okongwu. 29 seconds left in the second quarter. Rose passes to Noel. He dishes it to Burks. The kick out to Rose. Good work there as it goes. Rose has got six in the quarter. That's exactly how you want to utilize Rose at the point guard position. Run him off screens all night long. Young for three, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. Well, man, a big-time effort for Evan Fournier, providing a lot of energy for the New York Knicks. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all, and he looks to be planning for more. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Here with Tom Thibodeau. Coach, what has gone well for your team in the first half? Started making plays, you know, play unselfishly, force the defense to shift, attack, get downhill, then make a play. Your guys followed the instructions to the letter. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Nice game, great performance by Evan Fournier. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And so it's New York with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. It's off to Charlotte for them after this game as they take on the Hornets. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. On the court right now for the Hawks. Trey Young is out there with the Anthony Milk. Then it's Okongwu. Then it's Collins. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. Here's Okongwu. And it's blocked. And this has been an outstanding display on the board and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game doing the dirty work down low Barrett against Collins the kick out to Walker shot clock at five New York needs to get off a shot here's Sims here's Randall and it's sent back by Okongwu Collins with it defended now by Fournier Collins passes to Young. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Kemba Walker picks one up. Well, that's the attitude that the coaching staff talked to us about before the game. 
heads up aggressive play and right at whoever's guarding Trey Young. This is his first free throw of the game. That's good from Young. Man, that draft day trade is going to be talked about for the entirety of his career as Trey Young linked to Luka Doncic in that big trade. But both teams really benefited from it. And so Young nails them both. The Knicks leading by five. There's the feed to Barrett. Outside Fournier. With some art, here's Sims. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Down low. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for New York. Here's the pass to Randall. To the paint. Here's Sims. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. And it's eight points for ABC. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Back to Young. And the layup falls. Trey Young. Young's got 15 points. And Trey Young showing you variety. He can score in a lot of ways. Walker against Young. Handle left side. Six on the shot clock. And Walker kicks to Randall. Barrett inside the three-point line. And that one hits back iron. The Hawks trail by three. Melton feeling it out a bit. Here's Collins. And again, it's Atlanta. I do so enjoy watching a bounce pass executed that perfectly. The Knicks have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Walker against Young. Outside, Walker. Takes a shot at the elbow. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Walker's got his second bucket of the night. For Atlanta, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. The shot by Okongwu, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Walker's shot is off. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Back to Young. Okongwu with it. He's picked up by Walker. A three from Bogdanovich. Half clock reset for the Hawks. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by New York. They've led by as many as 11 points. To the middle. Here's Randall. Okongwu grabs the board. The Hawks trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now, here's Barrett. Not a lot of room. Randall passes to Barrett. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got four assists in the game. And really good focus from RJ there. I think that improves his percentages. Atlanta calls timeout. Working on consistency with that jumper. You can see Barrett has improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now.
Taj Gibson's checked in for New York. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Gorky Dang's checked in for Okongwu. Hunter comes in for John Collins. Right, he's checked in for Milton. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Trey Young. Trying to get open is Jang. And the shot goes in. Eight points for Dennis Schroeder. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every spot, Greg, on the floor. From three mid-range, the free throw line. When he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. And that's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Schroeder, right side. Pass to Chang. Shoots over Walker. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut back down to three points with the bucket from Zhang. And that's why Schroeder has a spot in the rotation. Coach recognizes his passing ability. He sets up his teammates well. Randall outside. Outside, Walker. New York moving it around. Hunter against Fournier. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Right against Fournier. Right looking around. Inside. Here's Schroeder. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Noel's checked in for Julius Randle. New York Knicks. Nerland's Noel. The Knicks leading by five. Walker with it. Now right defending. For three, Fournier. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Schroeder passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Schroeder. Passes it to Hunter. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Gibson. They get it again. Chang. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Evan Fournier. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for New York. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shots. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets setting up their shooters. The first one falls. A different look for New York. Burks comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Rose in for Walker. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Kevin Herter. He's checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Jang drops them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Rose passes to Noel. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Hunter. Here he goes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hunter's got his second basket of the game. I like to see Hunter get there on the inside. Not an easy shot. Still knocks it down. Jang against Rose. Kicks it to Fournier. Shoots over Schroeder. And again, it's New York. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. On its way from Hunter for two. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first person. Well, plain to see how eager Hunter is to work hard for his team. He gets that shot off. He gets a trip to the line. The Hawks have shot 75% of the stripe, six of eight. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws, 81% as a team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
The free throw drops for Hunter. Well, Hunter became a household name with winning a national championship when he was in college, and he wasted no time showing that he was going to be ready for NBA competition. And both free throws good for Hunter. So it's the Knicks now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Gibson finds Burks. And again, New York with the triple. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. Master Herter. The dish to right. And the pass to Chang. Shot clock at six. Over Burks. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Zhang. Consistency all game long. He's going to continue, I think, to have to take it over to get them back in the game. Gibson dishes to Fournier. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Burks with the steal. And a fast break now for the Knicks. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets through like that, you got to look out. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Dishes it to Burks. Back to Rose. Hunter had a hand on it. Great defense. Stingy was Hunter on that play and a great reaction. That's firing his team up. Rose against Schroeder. Knicks with the rebound. Noel's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Fournier. Missed inside. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. A shot. No good. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And the Knicks making a change here. Toppins checked in. John Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. Top of the key, Fournier. Pass to Burks. Four on the clock. New York, no good that time either. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. Hawks ball. Anthony Melbourne, he's jacked in for Atlanta. Young comes in for DeLon Wright. The Hawks trail by nine. Young looking around. And the rejection by Noel. And Noel in there to intimidate and does so there. Rose goes in, down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Bucket is good. John Collins has got four this quarter. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Now Rose, he's got 12. Works for three. 
And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Young against Fournier. Shot clock at five. Plays it in off a of pretty alley -oop. And no question, Trey Young is a very special passer and playmaker on the floor. Well, man, a big time effort for Evan Fournier, providing a lot of energy for New York. He's up to 26 points in the game now, just keeps pouring in the buckets. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. We've got to get some stop. So right now we're making one effort. We've got to make two, three, four effort. We've got to have high hand. We've got to stop the ball. Playing with high energy is something that he implores his guys to do all the time. And Kevin, when you're playing for Thibs, he wants you to hustle and to make multiple efforts on defense. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Maryland's Noel is out there with ABC. Then it's Evan Fournier. Then it's Rose. And it's Burks in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Sims kicks to Burks. Rose scanning the floor. Passes it to Burks. Looking to get it going. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Hunter. Count it. And now they're starting to pound the basketball inside. Rose up on top. Defended by Young. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. And you got to love watching Rose play the game. His intense style can be infectious out there. And I think it really does elevate his teammates. The free throw drops for Rose. A different look for New York. Randall's checked in for Noel. Barrett comes in for Burks. And Walker's subbed in for Fournier. And a change for the Hawks. Bogdanovich is checked in. Rose hits them both. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Young against Walker. Young outside. From past the arc. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. That was good D, but Trey Young showing how elite he can be offensively. And Walker kicks to Sims. Rose passes to Randall. Collins with some nice D. And Collins has got the ball here for the Atlanta Hawks. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Pass to Walker. Back to Rose. Wide open look. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. A sound decision maker with a reliable jump shot. Rose is more than comfortable in catch and shoot situations. Okongwu with it. Sims there. Okongwu with it. Out of ended by Randall. Deflects the pass. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one. 
errant pass. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. The pass to Okongwu. He kicks it to Young. Rebound by Rose. The Knicks leading by four. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Rose always been one of the best at getting to the line. He has to avoid fouling in those situations. At the line, two shots. The free throw drops for Rose. Both free throws good from Rose. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Young outside. Bobbed up there for Cullen. John Takes Collins. the alley-oop pass and That's dunks it down. Man, so impressive. Collins way up for that one. New York leading by four. Outside, Walker. Barrett, wide open, he fires. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got six assists now in the game. And won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Here's Okongwu. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. On Yeta Okongwu. One shot. One shot. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Collins against Rose. Pass to Randall. Shoots over Melton. Randall no good. The Hawks trail by four. To the inside. Here's Okongwu. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. A big man John Collins seeing the court that time. New York's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Pass to Sims. Randall against Collins. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Randall no good. Hawks have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Collins kicks to Young. On the wing, Melton. He nails it, and we're tied up. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pass to Rose. And there's the pass to Randall. Over Collins. And there's Randall on the assist by Rose. And the Knicks lead by two. Now you can see the touch and the improvement in that touch right there. Young outside. To the wing right side. Here's Melton. Five to shoot. And the layup's good off the glass. Melton's got the game tied up here for the Hawks. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. 
And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. And Kimball Walker traded to the Thunder this offseason. Was subsequently bought out before joining the Knicks. Walker and the Knicks seem like a perfect fit. You just hope Walker can stay healthy at this stage of his career. And defensively, no matter the size of the man he's guarding, Walker really puts up a fight. Some smaller guards pretend to battle. Uh, Walker will bang with you, try to front you, pull on your jersey, whatever it takes. He backs down from no one. Melton, no good. The Knicks leading by three to the wing on the left. Outside, Walker. Here's Randall. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Randall's got four this quarter. Really hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that one, with one of his shots falling. In a crucial moment, too. He's been doing that all night. No one's come close to stopping him. Pass to Collins. Over Randall. Here's Young. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Young's got nine points here in the second half. Outside Fournier. Here's Randall. It counts. And the foul. That one on Cohen. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. His first personal, 14 foul. At the line for the Knicks, Julius Randle. At the line, oh, one shot. That free throw good from Randle. After being picked seventh out of Kentucky back in 2014 by the Lakers, you remember Julius Randle, an auspicious start to his career, breaking his leg on his very first NBA game. That has not deterred him. Young against Walker. Young dishes to Okongwu. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got assist number eight now on the night. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. present our New Balance player of the game, Trey Young. It's a take charge brand of basketball he's been playing tonight. His point total tells you all you need to know about just how good he's been. And, and once he got going, their game plan really became simple. Just get him the ball. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack. He told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Thank you, David. Young outside. Back to Collins. Knocked away. Stolen by Walker. Now here's Fournier. He's guarded by Melton. Fader on the way. Misses off the right iron. 
And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Six-point game. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Ice D from Barrett. The Knicks have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. The shot's good. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. The Hawks trail by eight. Now, here's Melton. Outside, Bogdanovich. For Barrett, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Well, Bogdanovich is a shooter, and he's got good feel from the mid-range. New York leading by six. Outside, Walker. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Feeds to Okongwu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. At the line for the Hawks, Onyeka Okongwu. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Walker the pass to Fournier. Randall right side. Walker in the corner. Nice to the hoop. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his and really for his size, Walker is no stranger to physical play. He's aggressive on the move. He can catch the D off guard and get himself to the line. Free throw good from Walker. And you always know what you're going to get from Walker from the line. He's been a solid, consistent free throw shooter his entire career. And so Walker nails both of them. The Hawks trail by nine. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, my goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Walker against Young. This is it to Randall. Puts it up from 12. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his eighth assist in the game. And Atlanta has possession. Young outside. 149 left in the fourth quarter. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? Walker, bounce pass. Here's Randall. That one rolling around and runs out. The Hawks trail by seven. Pass to Young. Three-pointer. 
Kept alive by Atlanta. Second chance shot. It's blocked. Outside, Walker. 110 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And it's sent back by Okongwu. This is a do or die possession. They have got to get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. Walker against Young to the middle. Stolen by Cowan. It's Young on the wing. Collins dishes to Young. There's the drive. It's rebounded by New York. They've led by as many as 11 points. And now we've got the intentional foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Knicks. At the line, two shots. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. No luck that time either. On the wing, Melton. And stolen by Fournier. And an intentional foul right there. That's his third person. At the line for New York. Kendall Walker at the line. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he does get the second one. And that puts them up by five. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're down by five. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, they need to use as little time as possible here. If they can get a bucket before the clock hits 24 seconds, they can try for a stop on the next possession. If there's less than 24, then they'll have to foul. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Collins is right there. And maybe not the first guy you think about. Collins in the clutch. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Randall kicks to Walker. Now the pass to Barrett. Shoots off the step back. It drops. We're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Atlanta calls timeout. They're behind by five. Nine seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? They're yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. Your next city dancer.
Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the line for the Knicks, Kemba Walker. At the line, two shots. Two. Two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Young from deep three-point range. So it's New York picking up the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kemba. You are playing great basketball as a team. What does it feel like out there? We have a great atmosphere, a great culture. You know, we have great guys around who want to win. Um, you know, we're, we're focused. You know, we're trying to win as many games as possible, taking it one game at a time, and you know, the results are shown. Well, man, good practice leads to good results, as you see on the floor. Congrats again. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.